Okay, hey. Daniel and Tobias. So hey. uh, soon it's gonna happen. Soon it's going. What is going to happen? The live know. stream. The yeah. live it's gonna stream. Be awesome. And it's me here. It's as gonna as well. be live. Yeah. And it's going to be live. Okay. It's going to be a full day, full of activities. Yeah. And Should we go up and, and, yeah. and show? Yes. Show and tell. Let's do it. So I'll so go backwards. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> On the fourth What's floor the worst of thing this that building, happen? yeah, we have the IoT lab, which is the place that we're going to now. Okay. So now we're leaving the coffee room yes. and going up to the IoT lab. And the IoT lab is going to be, I think, the main character actually in the live stream. Yeah. So it's the place where we're gonna have two teams competing uh, in creating an IoT application, application. sensor yeah. um, on a bike, on my bike. On my, bike. my team will do it. Uh, yeah. And here we have David bike. as well. So. Me, David. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And they actually don't know the full extent of the, what they're going to do yet because they're going to decide this, the, the details of the project during the live stream. And then yeah. they're going to solve problems, they're going to you know, do engineering, they're going to design things. And we're going to fail a lot too. Yeah. And yeah. redo things. Failing is the best part of learning, isn't yes. it? Um, and we are really good at failing. Yeah. Then they're going to yeah. test these things and of course they're not going to work the first time and then they're going to retest it and then they're going to show us the entire process. Yeah. And we're going to be frustrated and we're going to struggle. Yeah. But these projects are not the only thing that happens during the live stream. We're also going to install what are we going to install at Böda, Fredrik? We are going to install a couple of weather stations. I think we should be here. Yeah. So this is the IT lab. And pretty much every colleague is going to be involved in this. So what did, what did you say? You were going to install a weather station? At uh, well, not me, but we are going to install weather stations. Uh, nice. Yeah, in Böda Sand. So like the north part of Öland. You know, there is this um, program on TV mm. when they send from Böda Sand. Reality TV. Reality okay, TV. So, so we're going to make an IT reality TV so people are going to know reality. what kind of weather there is at Böda yeah. so before going there, because it's so far. Uh, okay, what, what else is going to happen? We are going to have a 3D printing workshop with me, yeah. where hey. I'm going to you know, talk about 3D printer. We have two 3D printers here, so I'm probably going to showcase at least one of those yeah. during this. And this one is going to stream the printing all the time, right? Yeah, yeah, so we're gonna have a, a 24 hour print or yeah. something like that. Yeah, that, that, and, and the then I'm gonna that show. We have here what, the, what kind of brands are these printers? So these are both Prusa printers. Yeah. So uh, it's quite nice, reliable printers, but cheap still, right? So this is what you expect to, you know, could have at home also. So I actually have one of these at home. Yeah. Uh, but I'm gonna do a little bit of 3D design. So we're gonna design a small model and then we're gonna print that small model and then I'm gonna talk about different types of plastic and stuff that you need to know in order to get started with 3D printer yourself. But that is not all, all that is gonna happen. So you are going for a trip, Fredrik. Where are you going? Yeah, I'm, um, uh, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Dublin, uh, me and a friend, uh, uh, colleague, uh, Johan, and uh, we are going to Dublin and we're going to go to this, I, uh, you're very close, <laughs> we're going to this IoT conference in Dublin. So that is also going to happen during this live stream, okay. that we're actually going to live stream from the conference. What, what can we expect from an IoT conference? We will, uh, well, we can expect a lot, I hope. We are going to be there for a couple of days and there will be the future in IoT, yeah. there will be new networking, security and blockchain applications mm -hmm. and I think there, like, there are a massive amount of speakers and presentations so it's actually not even possible to attend all of those. Mm -hmm. so, but we are, we are also going to present a paper at that conference, unfortunately not during the live stream because you can record it. Yeah, we will <laughs> record it, of course. So there is something on the floor behind you, Fredrik, that is also going to be used and yeah. demonstrated during this live stream. So, so what is this? This is uh, uh, the Starlink that we have bought for the lab. Hmm? See, it's a little bit dusty here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What does the Starlink do? This is a broadband satellite internet connection uh, with um, uh, that's the company uh, that uh, Starlink is owned by Elon Musk. 
So this is sort of so part SpaceX. of SpaceX, yeah. yeah. Uh, so the, all those SpaceX, uh, um, uh, yeah, it's launched by SpaceX. Okay, so what, what are the benefits of, of this thing? Well, you can actually have a broadband connection quite fast, 250 megabits. I think we have achieved uh, at this location in Kalmar. Uh, well, on satellite. <laughs> And that's really cool. Mm -hmm. So this we're going to show also during the live stream. So we're going to connect that and show how it works and maybe do some, well, maybe do a broadband test. Mm -hmm. How and exciting. Yeah. <laughs> and it does not require that much power, right? No, so 100 could, watts. Yeah, yeah, you could basically drive this from a large sized battery. Yeah, nice. Go so completely and then also free. during the day, we will obviously showcase a lot of different things that we have in the lab. So we are, going to focus on all the different kinds of IT hardware that we have in this, the lab. This one is especially interesting. Oh, what, what is that? You got the question. I got the question. Mm. This is a P PCB. PCB printer that can print circuits. Oh, Not nice. So we cannot just only print Boxes and so we, we don't stuff. need to do these things anymore, Indeed. right? So no. th this is something that that someone has just soldered themselves on one of these. So you can have this thing printing uh, circuits instead. Of, wh why is that interesting for an IT uh, lab? Because then you're not limited by the breadboard and these small jumper wires. You can take whatever device you have, like your ESP32, mm -hmm. and you can print your own breadboard circuit. So if you have like your design on a breadboard mm. and you have all these wires hanging around, then you can design this in a, a, a program and then print it. And awesome. Let's and you, yeah. you can just take a look at this. This is a mess, right? You can yeah. just imagine how many errors we get from yeah. doing that. Good. And our soldering skills, not so far. Yeah. But we're also gonna, you know, showcase sensors. There are, you know, numerous amounts of different sensor types of sensors, like uh, light sensors, like uh, humidity sensors, like um, you know, uh, motion sensors, like audio audio sensors, uh, dust sensors, different types of uh, environmental sensors, sensors and gas sensors and stuff like that. <laughs> so in these IoT applications, we're going to grab a number of these sensors, find out the nice application, and then we're going to build something, a, a new IT product using that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but also the uh, head of the university is coming, right? Yeah. yeah. So Peter is going to talk about history of technology or something like that? Yes. Yes. So Connected to the current situation in the world. So it will be a very interesting discussion, I think. Yeah, uh, I, I really hope so. Yeah. so uh, so that will happen. Mm -hmm. So the Vice Chancellor uh, Peter Aronson will be joining in and we will also take a look at the digital beehive yes. that we have just installed and also there the, it's 30,000 bees that, yeah. oh, <laughs> that are going to sting us. That yeah. will be very interesting I think. Yeah, so that will uh, beekeeper will yeah. come here and talk about that. So uh, how is that related to IT? It, that is a connected beehive. So that beehive uh, is fitted with sensors mm -hmm. for um, uh, measuring the amount of honey that is produced. We are also doing projects with machine learning and audio. So trying to m like measure how the bees behave. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, why is that important, Fredrik? Well, you will know more on the live stream. Yes. But I can say very short that it's very important for well, if you know that the bees are swarming or not, so then actually half of the bee population is, well, going off somewhere else. Mm. They're like moving from home. Uh, and so it's yes, important, right? The, yeah, it's important. And there is a lot of sickness and diseases yeah. that the bees can have. That. So in order to keep the, the bee society healthy, then, well, obviously you need to know a lot of things about how they behave. And a lot of these it, things, are known now by the beekeeper, but like using machine learning and also battery powered solutions, mm. we can probably take that to the next level. Cool. Yeah. And many of these things are gonna happen during the live stream. Yeah. And we are gonna have other cool stuff like book clubs where we're gonna discuss the future of education. Yeah, and I think Niklas is gonna take a swim also, right? 
Um, there's yeah, gonna may, be, and maybe you are going to maybe take I'm yeah. live coding. Yeah. There's going to be are there any other things that I've forgotten? A lot of different fun things at least. Yeah, right? we full are day. most likely also going to visit a couple of other places mm. in Europe. Uh, we'll cool. see if the plan still sticks, mm -hmm. but it might be that we visit Germany, Ireland, Italy, um, uh, and uh, Spain cool. as well. Nice. And also Skåne. Mm. Uh, you could say yeah. that almost yeah, it's as almost another. It's your home country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so see you at the live stream. And when is this? 21st. 21st 29. of June. 20 we're starting 22. at 9 in the morning. We're yeah. going for 12 hours at least. Yeah. 12 hours. Yeah, at least 12 hours. At least 12 yeah. hours. Cheers. Cheers. Bye bye.